Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila and we're here today doing the Alpha 8 Experimental Series. And you can see this is build 806-1681. No idea. There wasn't even any release notes. No idea. Just fired up and it's a change. Now there has been some icon changes and we'll go through this. So you can see the icons for a bunch of stuff has changed here. We'll go into the constructor. And yes, I spawned in the the camo shack. I, I actually found a better place for my base after going around halfway around the planet. I found a really nice island in the middle of a lake, super flat, wide island, and just put a slab of concrete down, and here we are. Spawn in the CV camo shack, and right now I got it producing some a couple of water generators for me and some fuel. Um, I also put a couple of some sentry guns on it and put some ammo in an ammo box for them. Not that I'm going to need it, but wandering drones do come by. So you got to be prepared for that. <clears throat> okay, so... Um, Today, so we spawned in the camel shack. We have a whole bunch. You can see we went and mined a bunch of stuff. We did find the Prometheum a lot more than just the small chunk that I showed you that we found last episode. Um, so we're in good shape. Look at all the Arrestrum and Zascosium. Yes, I know, from getting golems. We found a few golem spots. So we're able to do that. We upgraded our drills to T2 drills because we had a whole bunch of cobalt. And today what we're going to do is we are going to bring in the new HV. So this starter, I, well, you saw me evolve it on the last series. So I'm actually going to micro um, multi-tool this down let me just make sure I've got nothing in here let's uh, go into the fuel take that out and I don't think I had any oxygen in it nope okay and I got everything else I'm pretty sure that's all empty yep one cargo box empty yep fridge empty yep and cargo box is empty. Okay. So I'm just going to spawn this up. And, or get my drone spawned up. Let's uh, tab in, tab out. So there we go. My unicorn. <laughs> my unicorn horn on the front. That is the new radar. They call it the detector. So that is the detector for the HV. It is now one of those antenna, and it sticks out quite a bit. It's like three blocks long. So, meh, not too sure how I feel about that. That was the only place I could find on there that it didn't get in the way. So that's where it went. Anyway, let's, um, you know what, here, let's, let's get these water barrels down our water uh, generators down. Okay. And we'll put nine, 10 and in that one. Okay. So, well, let's nuke this thing. Let's nuke this thing and bring back something better because we've got all those mats now. So we've got what we need. So the the box top medium is what we're going to bring in. It's going to require 1,044 ingots, 642 copper, and 483 silicone and take an hour to spawn in. So... What we're going to do is we're going to take this thing apart by parts. So we want to retrieve the whole block. Because if we put blocks into the factory, it reduces the time on the factory. Come on. Huh. 
I shouldn't have to, I don't know why I'm thinking about structural integrity. There is none on vehicles, so you can leave blocks floating in the air independently of each other, and it's still okay. Not to stay like that, say like, that's going to stay like that permanently, but so far in alpha 8 it is. Get all this, get it all. So the reason I like to multi-tool down my starter, because, well, I've already built onto it. So yeah, I've already spent the time in survival. Not even creative, but actual survival building it. So, and funny enough, most of my builds do come out of survival. They don't actually come out of, oh, Oh, so what did I have in here? Ammo. Okay. So yeah, most of my builds actually come out of survival gameplay, not creative gameplay. Now, the one thing you got to be careful of when you're multi-tooling a vehicle completely down or like anything and you're trying to retrieve all the blocks, leave the core to last. Just just saying. <laughs> Unless you have another core to replace it with, if you pop the core, you cannot get the full blocks. So just be wary of that. Don't pop the core. Leave the core to last. It's like the red M&Ms, leave them to last. Okay, you can see with a tier one multi-tool, it just sucks completely. And <laughs> it takes forever. If we had a tier two, which I could probably make, and we'll get to that in a second. I just wanted to completely torture you guys with a... Uh, Tier 1 multi-tool. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, what we can do... What we can do... Is we can figure out what... Here, let's... Before we get too crazy here... Let's go into our... Blueprints. And we'll put this into the factory right now. You can see our time... It's going down as we do this. By quite a bit, actually. Good. So far, that's a big help. And we've got some resources in there now. Uh, what I was going to do is upgrade our multi-tool. <laughs> I think it's about time. So we're going to upgrade this. So first of all, to upgrade the advanced instructor, we need two computers, five energy matrix, 10 cobalt alloy, and 10 flux coils. Okay. So 10 flux coils will require 50 neo, 20 sathium, and 20 cobalt. Jeez, 50 neo. Okay. And then the cobalt is going to require 30 cobalt, 20 iron. Okay. Okay, we can do it. We've got one, so we need nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, do we have any of the cobalt alloy? Nope, we never looted any of that, so we need 10 of those. Okay. We need five of these and three. Is it three or two? Now I can't remember. Let's go for two. We'll try two. Okay, so. We've got this that we can put in there after. Good. We're probably going to need actually more. We're going to need more. So let's do that. 
couple thousand more. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have that, we should be able to upgrade. Oh, flux coil, right. And boom, we now have an advanced constructor, which will craft even faster than before, or at least it should. Okay, yep, a little bit faster, yep, good. Okay, uh, and here, let's just stop this, stop this, stop, stop, there we go, because I want to put my multi-tool in here, so whenever you're upgrading to another thing, make sure you put your old weapon or whatever it is into your constructor, because if you look, all of them require the previous item to upgrade. So you can see this one requires a multi-tool. It's already got one in here, so it'll just use it when I, and it looks like I'll just barely be able to do this. So let's make this. So you can see it grab the multi-tool. And there we go. We've got our tier two multi-tool. Awesome. And the sun's going down. Not so awesome. <laughs> okay, let's retrieve blocks again. So now, this should go really fast. Yeah, it's just single click stuff now. Cockpit took a few hits, but... Yeah, much faster now. There we go. Much better. Come on. Don't use as many charges because each charge is more effective. Okay. And just the core left. Okay. Okay, so let's put that stuff in there. Oops, I didn't want the Put the bull, uh, whatever. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so you can see it still needs a whole bunch of stuff. We did cut the, town, the time down by quite a bit, though. Quite a bit. So that's really good. And what we can do now, here, we don't need the drone. Jump up here, come back in here. What we can do now is, let's just go into here for a split second. Is there anything in here I can take? No. Okay, so let's grab a stack of what we need here. Oh, wow, I got a smelt some some I'm gonna have to smell smelt a bunch of iron here okay well let's do that really quick it'll go faster in the advanced constructor anyway okay I don't need that stuff with me go back into here and let's throw this stuff in here so the iron ingots we're just shy copper uh, who cares? That's close enough. <laughs> uh, silicone. That's going to be quite a bit overage. I don't want to do that. Okay. So we'll put this stuff back in the constructor. All right. It's not in its group anymore. So we'll auto group. Get back in the constructor. Put the stuff away, and we've got the iron ingots there. So let's go into the blueprint, and it is just a few of them. Okay. So we'll start production. It's unfortunately we we could only get it down to 35 minutes. So I'm going to start the production on that, and it's dark out anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that cook, and 
we will see you when it's done cooking. Okay, we are back and the sun is out. It's a beautiful day overhead. Let's get our HV spawned in. So it said it was ready here. Let's do it. Go into our control panel, blueprints, and here it is ready to go. Yeah, this is it, right? Did I derp and get the wrong one? No, this is it. This is it. This is it. Okay. Let's, oh my goodness, let's back this up. Okay. And yeah, we're going to have to do something about those. Um, yeah, we'll fix that. Okay. We'll change that up. Get that like that. Okay, here is our, well, okay, let's just take these off right away because they're just offensive and obnoxious now. <laughs> Um, okay, let's retrieve blocks. We'll take these detectors off. We're going to have to find somewhere else for those. I guess if I center them better. Oh, face them forward. I don't know. Put them somewhere. We could we could do it like right there. Let's see. Let's see what these these are one by three by ones. Yeah, let's put our drone in the air. So anyway, here this is our uh, box top medium. What I will be doing is putting another cockpit inside, like we did with the starter. So I'm going to put one exactly where the starters was right up right up to here so i was just using this cockpit in the meantime uh with this thing but this thing is a full feature hv pretty much it's got um you know the whole shoot and match although it doesn't have any missile turrets on it yet it's got spots for them to go so It'll be ready, and it's only made out of iron. It's not made out of hardened steel, so that it needs to be upgraded that way too. So it's got a few things to do with it, and that's what we're doing right now. So where should we put these? So they're one of these things where they flip themselves the way they want to go. You can't seem to... It does not seem to do anything when you try any of the changing the direction of them. Yeah, it doesn't seem to. Yeah, okay. So we just got to find a way to. So it needs to go on a flat surface. So if I, if I pop that off. Face it forward. Yeah, let's try it. Pop that off. Face it. Oh, I'm going to have to paint that. No, I don't have a tool. Oh, it's okay. I'll just live without live without it being painted for now. Price we've got to pay. So we'll stick that there. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. That actually looks like it's some sort of gun or something, right? Kind of trippy, really. Okay, let's do that. I can pop them off later and paint it. Oh, that one's got paint on it by the look of it. Whatever. So there we go. We've got the detectors on, even though it only needs one. I chose to put the two back on because, you know, I love wasting fuel. Um, as you can see, with all the stuff on my HV, that's why half of it's fuel tanks <laughs> and RCS. 
Okay, so there you go. That is our HV that we're going to have going forward. This thing is going to kick ass for us. We are going to have a good time now. So let's do this. What do we got on us? We've got fuel. Should be all we need. Let's, um, oh, well, we, and ammo. Yeah, fuel and ammo. That's all we need. That's all we need. We're going to have to go kill stuff for our food, right? Um, whoops. What I did want to do, actually, is make another cockpit really quick. So let's do that. So we'll go into here. We'll select the hover vehicle because I don't want to make the wrong cockpit. So here we go. Cockpit blocks. Get one of those made. Now I know it sounds really stupid putting two cockpits on my HV, but you'll see it, it actually works really well. And the second one can actually be used for passengers. So it, it can still be used to carry people, even though that you're in a different one. It's just whoever jumps in the cockpit first, right, is the winner. Okay, let's well, let's go like this so that we can see what we're doing. And just have to. Oh, you know what? This light's got to come out. This light is interfering here. Yeah. Well, come on. What? What is going on here? light it's not gonna get the light there we go so what did I grab was I grabbing stuff yeah I was grabbing blocks off my okay that's a little bit annoying <laughs> I mean I was clearly targeting the light yikes so now what did I what did I pop off just like bulkhead blocks it's like they blocks inside there like really what I, I, I or was I hitting the was I hitting the the cockpit that's what I was doing I was hitting the cockpit oh my goodness look at that bizarre Oh, yes. Fun, fun. Okay, so let's try this again. And there. See, now we can go forward quite a bit. So that's what I wanted. I wanted that. There we go. There we go. Excellent. There we go. So now we can just jump in here. We can go into here, we can go into here, we'll do the fill all, why not? We'll do fill all. Uh, oh, um, hmm. You know what? I don't want this thing shooting at turrets, really. Let's auto group. We're going to go in and set our engines onto the d -d 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 harvest, or sorry, hover. Uh, on to the RCS. I got 19 on this thing. Okay. Thrusters left. Thrusters back. The right ones. And the front ones. Okay. So there we go. Now we can go power this up. And then we can shut off our thrusters. And we don't have much. Wow. This thing consumes a ton of power without. Uh, so if we. If, yeah, turrets take hardly anything. What about the lights? Eh, a bit. Uh, signals? There's no signals. So turrets and lights? Eh. Okay. Well, let's, oh, 
See, and I have the engines off, yeah. <laughs> uh, funny. So there is, oh, so we've got detection over here. Shall we go check that out? Oh, actually, before we go too much further, I do want to go into my turrets and make sure that they're not shooting at turrets, warp drives, thrusters, or generators. I'll stay with the mounted weapon just in case because I've sometimes large drones in the past, I couldn't shoot at them with turrets unless, unless one of these was selected also. But I mean, that might not be the case anymore. And, you know, I'm just grasping at straws, but hey. Um, so yeah, I know I'm leaving Predator on. I know. Because spiders, that's why. Reasons. Swarms of reasons. Okay. Okay, so let's go in. I'm leaving Alien on. Who cares about the other faction? It just doesn't matter. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be... We're going to ride the in between north and west by the look of it. Because it keeps bouncing back and forth between there. Looks like one thing between... One thing it's discovered. Uh, we got to go into the forest. That's fine. So let's, oh, our guns are loaded already. Huh. Okay. Well, guns, our guns were loaded already? Not sh sure how that's even possible. Um, did they come preloaded from when I blueprinted the, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Oh, hello there. Should I sh shoot you in the head? Oh, no, let's just uh, take off. And then I'll kill you. Oops, and what did I get stuck behind? A rock, wow. You can see this thing has got some... S some serious thrust to it. I was able to get away from its charge because, you know, I, I took, um, <laughs> I took lessons on how to shoot in an HV from uh, Captain Adonis. So, you know, hence the results. Although I am, I'm not dead afterward. So just saying. Uh, okay, so that's, if I didn't have the hatch closed, I would have spawned on the seat. Uh, whatever. Let's just spawn this up. Okay, 11. Yeah, 11. That's going to keep us going for quite a while. That's all I was looking for, really, because I just wanted to, um, you know what, we can fry that right now. And no, we don't need hover. Let's go into grilled steak. Get that a grilling. We'll grill it all up. And then we'll put those in the fridge. Eat one right now. Okay. So uh, let's keep searching for whatever this radar hit is. Oh, what a pretty flower field. So those are worth plant protein now, I believe. I don't think it's vegetable. I think it's plant protein. And Jesus, the signal is schizophrenic. Oh, getting some spiders. Yeah, kill them. So 
So you can get quite a bit of food if you need to, if you run into one of those. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Should I kill these guys? You know what? I don't need to right now. I just got a whole bunch of meat. That's good enough for right now. We're, we're exploring. And thickly wooded, frickin' HV unfriendly. Bruh! Gosh! Get out of my way! Go away! Just, just, all of you burn down! Just get, go away! <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing! Oh, uh, come on. No, no. Can't get that one. He's apparently untouchable. Okay. So I didn't accomplish much there. Now, I've got drills on this thing. What I can do is I can switch to the drills. I can go to the rock drill. And this big giant rock, we can try and drill it. And we'll see if we can... Oh, look at that. It went in a few seconds and we got 113 crushed stone. Woohoo! <laughs> awesome. Okay. Oh, really? Really? You're going to be like that? Yeah, well, thought so. Okay. Oh, another one of these pretty flower fields. Look at that. Look at all the plant. That is worth a lot of XP. Wow. Wow. That is a lot of plant protein. Holy crap. I'd probably get a level from picking that. I don't necessarily want to, though. And there's spiders running around over there. And, or crickets. <sighs> Stupid turrets think that cr crickets are enemies now. I guess I could turn alien off, but I don't think it would shoot at Xerox. Come on, kill him. What are you guys shooting at? Oh, crickets. Yeah. Let's not shoot at the... That's it. You're going down. Kill you myself. Frickin' turrets. Another thing we've got to be careful of is patrols. Okay, have my, have my turrets killed everything in the forest now? Because, you know, they have to kill absolutely everything. We'll get the stone again. Because it's so easy. 110. Wow. That's crazy. Okay. We, we, we don't need any more stone. So that was the unknown artifact over here. Hmm. Well, let's go take a look. Switch to my guns. So it's like a civilian thing. Oh. What is it shooting over there? Is that Xerox? Or spiders? Spiders. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow, that's a very cool looking building. I guess the point is you just pop the, the core out wherever it may be. And multi-tool it for free resources. 
Because really, that's all it's good for by the look of it. Okay, interesting. We don't need that right now. Um, so that was it. That was what it was pointing us towards. Hmm. There's a village over here. What I really should do is go get some of this Prometheum. Not that one. Let's check out our map here. We could get the rest of that from the colony. And it sounds like it's killing stuff. We could get those over there. We could potentially get that one. Yeah. What I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to keep exploring and try and find something. Um, <laughs> as you can see, my turrets are just going to shoot everything. Well, every spider, every predator, which is pretty much everything. Yeah, it's too bad. Okay. I was hoping to find... We're, we're going to head straight into here. And if we don't find anything in there... Whoop! Okay. Go away! He's got the homing spit globules that... Uh, can't seem to get away from you can only run away from and get get distance okay let's take a look at the map so we got to keep heading west man this thing just books her when you give it thrust I guess I guess 10 jet thrusters <laughs> on regular steel it's actually the thrust is all set up for for it to be uh, hardened steel obviously that's why it's severely over thrusted well that's okay for now it's super fun and crazy fast Oh, but, you know, a twig can actually stop us. A twig, yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, another twig. Yep, yep, you know. They creep up on you. They're twigs. Whoa, got some air off that one. Nice. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to find anything. I don't see anything going off on the radar. That's too bad. That's too bad. Okay, well, we didn't find any um, Xerox patrols or anything this time around. Meh. Well, we've almost cleared up this area. I guess we'll. I guess we'll keep heading this way. Let's mark, let's put a marker here. We'll head down that way. And we'll head this way around. 
It's not that fun going through a forest on an HV, let me tell you. It's kind of a pain. It's not really any better going through a forest on a motorcycle either, so <laughs> I guess I can't complain. Okay, so we've got radar contact. Good. Let's see what's going on here. And we've got, whoa, multi, multi-contacts. And I just got to see if there's any golems. Just, just, just indulge me for a minute here. This is a nice sandy area. I got to, I got to, I got to look for golems. Got to look. Got to do it. Oh, come on, really? Oh, there we go. There's one. Okay. You can see some huge XP. So now, yeah, you can see I'm standing on my my uh, cockpit there, and I can just spawn the drone instantly, no problem. And I'm all comfortable and line of sight. Line of sight in here, so I don't... Anything that would normally line of sight me, like the... Uh, you know, there's a bunch of stuff. The um, I don't know stuff, things like the raptors. Yeah, night raptors. <laughs> okay, uh, we're getting pretty close to the end of this episode, so let's see if we can find something. Well, we've got four indicators now to the west. What do we got? Up, oh, up. Oh. No, let me get the XP. Oh, I didn't get it quite. That's okay. I'll... Did we not? Did I not uh, loot the other one? I don't even think I looted it. See, I'm, I'm, I am going completely senile. No, we looted it. See, I am going completely senile. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just shush. Let me out. Grab that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Neo, Arastrium, Iron, Crushed Stone, Cobalt. Oh, we should put the egg away. And I bet you. Yeah, let's jump back in here. Going to the constructor, because that's been sitting in here for a while. We'll chew up one of those. Going to the fridge. One of the fridges. We'll choose this one. Throw that stuff in there. Got a light. We'll just put that down here. And put the stuff in the constructor. Good enough. Okay. Okay, let's continue on. And we'll see if we can find something. Oh! See, I see a tower over there. See that? Oh, yeah, a bunch of... Oh, yeah, five things now. Oh, yeah, it's... Because it's, it's the... Um, that's where the Robson Protocol stuff is going on. Yeah, okay, we already knew about that. So... I'm not super interested about that because I know what's in there and it's and it's fiery missile death. That's what's in there. It's oh, we stopped for golems. We stopped for golems. Ah, I couldn't quite kill it in time. What another one? Yep, 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 yep. Nope, can't can't can't, can't quite get it because my turrets are too fast. Whatever, that's fine. I don't care. The loot off them is worth the bullets for sure. Uh, that one's too far.
yeah, it's a good way to get promethium too if you're really, really struggling, but you know of a, a golem spot. If you hunt golems for an afternoon, you'll get a small little stack of promethium, enough to enough to get your basics going, a base and and your vehicle fuel fueled up for a while. Okay, so nothing there. Well, this has been a bit of a bust. Just some golems, really. That's not really what I intended to uh, do with you guys today. I mean, yeah, this is the HV run, but you guys have already seen this too, so. <sighs> <laughs> We did reveal more of the map. Um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it here and I'm going to keep going around and um, mine out pretty much a couple of each thing, bring that all back to base, refine it up. Hopefully I can find the Titan parts. That's what I'm really looking for. And then uh, we'll have enough stuff to bring in an SV and, you know, the, the yada, 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 onward and upwards. So until then, guys, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.